is Salesforce stock bought? Software growth stocks are under pressure. Whether to buy CRM stock often boils down to how an investor views two fundamental trends. One, rising corporate spending on digital transformation projects. And two, Salesforce.com's penchant for making big acquisitions, such as Slack technology. Amid stock market volatility, Salesforce stock has tumbled 10% in 2022. CRM stock gained 14% in 2021. After forming a long cup base from September 2020 to September 2021, Salesforce stock hit an all-time high of 311.75 on November 9. But software growth stocks have retreated amid an expectation for rising interest rates, which could impact free cash flow. A closely watched software benchmark, the iShares Expanded Tech Software ETF, fell 4.2% in December after pulling back 5.5% in November. For all of 2021, the IGV Software Index gained 12.3% versus the SP 500's nearly 27% advance. In 2020, the Software Index soared nearly 52% versus the SP 500's gain of 16.3%. UBS downgraded CRM stock to neutral on January 5. UBS analyst Carl Kirstead said investor expectations for corporate spending on front office, flash sales and marketing software in 2022 should be lowered. More software demand may have been pulled forward over the last 18 months than most investors and even software firms think, he wrote, Salesforce reported third-quarter earnings and revenue that topped estimates, but guidance disappointed. CRM stock reported earnings at for the first time included a full quarter of financials from Slack Technology. The deal closed in July. Salesforce stock, co-CEO structure return. Salesforce promoted Brett Taylor to act as co-chief executive alongside current CEO Mark Benioff. Taylor has served as Salesforce's president and chief operating officer since 2019. Before that, he was chief product officer. Twitter named Taylor its new chairman on November 29. Salesforce had a co-CEO structure earlier. Keith Block, viewed as a possible successor to Benioff, stepped down as co-CEO in early 2020. DRM stock sells software under a subscription model. Its software helps businesses organize and handle sales operations and customer relationships. The company has expanded into marketing, e-commerce, and data analytics. Amid the coronavirus pandemic, Demand for next-generation collaboration and productivity tools has increased. In addition, many companies aim to automate operations and track key business metrics in order to support employees working from home. One view is that spending on digital transformation projects will continue to be strong as the COVID-19 emergency eases. Such projects turn paperwork into electronic records and automate business workflow. More companies are investing in business analytics slash artificial intelligence tools that scrub customer data. DRM stock digital transformation spending key. Morgan Stanley analyst Keith Weiss said in a report to clients that Salesforce stock is well-positioned based on a survey of spending priorities for chief information officer. Salesforce's core portfolio squarely addresses CIO's top priorities for digital transformation, Weiss said. Our survey bolsters confidence in industry growth forecasts as marketing, CRM, and customer service ranked highest among priority. Meanwhile, we see momentum building in the market addressed by Slack as businesses implement tools to better collaborate and improve productivity while working remote in the new normal post-COVID. At an investor day in December 2020, Salesforce said it aims to double revenue to $50 billion by 2026, including a $4 billion contribution from Slack. At the same time, Salesforce stock lowered its organic revenue growth target to 19% from 20% over the next four years. Salesforce stock joins Dow Jones Industrial Average. CRM stock in 2020 was added to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Further, Salesforce stock replaced ExxonMobil in the 30 stock benchmark. Meanwhile, CRM stock recently was added to the IBD long-term leaders list. Also, the bar keeps rising when investors look at Salesforce's biggest acquisition ever. Its purchase of Exact Target in 2013 was followed by e-commerce platform Demandware in 2016 and MuleSoft in 2018. Last year, Salesforce ponied up $15.7 billion in an all-stock deal to buy data analytics firm Tableau Software. Then came the Slack deal. Amid growing competition with Microsoft, Salesforce agreed to pay $27.7 billion for workplace collaboration software maker. The upbeat view is that acquisitions have enabled Salesforce to expand from its roots in customer relationship management software into marketing, e-commerce, and other markets. Salesforce is one of many big cap tech stocks to watch. Started in 1999, Salesforce went public in 2004. Benioff, who is also Salesforce's founder, 
worked at Oracle for 13 years before he left to start the software company. CRM Stock Core Business Strength and Issue Microsoft's Dynamics has gained traction as a lower-priced alternative to Salesforce tools, some analysts say. In addition, Microsoft is putting more salespeople behind the Dynamics business. Also, Salesforce has been a fierce rival of Oracle. Competition with Adobe Systems, the digital media and marketing software firm, has been rising. Newer rivals include Zendesk and HubSpot. And Twilio has jumped into customer relationship management software with an acquisition. The customers of Software as a Service, or SaaS, companies like Salesforce purchase renewable subscriptions rather than one-time software licenses. Customers receive automatic software updates via the web. Also, the company spends about 14% of revenue on research and development, relatively high for a software company. Increased hiring and wage inflation for software engineers also have been a headwind to margin growth. At an analyst day on September 23, Salesforce raised its fiscal 2022 revenue outlook and forecast fiscal 2023 revenue slightly above expectation. For fiscal 2022, which ends in December, Salesforce said it expects revenue in a range of $26.25 billion to $26.35 billion. Its earlier guidance was $26 billion at the high end. Salesforce stock. Fundamental analysis. Salesforce said it expects fiscal 2023 revenue in a range of $31.65 billion to $31.80 billion versus estimates of $31.52 billion. In addition, Chief Financial Officer Amy Weaver committed to higher margins. Salesforce third quarter earnings fell 27% to $1.27 on an adjusted basis, including the Slack acquisition. Revenue climbed 27% to $6.86 billion, including Slack. Analysts expected Salesforce to report earnings of $0.92 cents a share on sales of $6.8 billion. The enterprise software maker said current remaining performance obligations, or CRPO bookings, rose 23% to $18.8 billion, that edged by analyst estimates of $18.71 billion. Meanwhile, CRPO bookings are an aggregate of deferred revenue and order backlog. The Salesforce CRPO growth included acquisition. For the current quarter ending in January, Salesforce's revenue outlook met expectation. The software maker expects revenue in a range of $7.224 to $7.234 billion versus estimates of $7.23 billion. But the company forecast earnings in a range of $0.72 cents to $0.73 cents a share, missing estimate. Analysts had projected a profit of $0.82 cents a share. In addition, Salesforce projected CRPO growth of 19% in the January quarter below estimates of 21% growth. Management said business has slowed at its MuleSoft unit, acquired in 2018. Salesforce builds artificial intelligence platform. One technology that Salesforce hopes will drive more revenue is artificial intelligence. The enterprise software maker introduced its Einstein AI software cloud platform in September 2016. The first Einstein AI software tools helped salespeople predict which deals are most likely to close based on a company's historical lead and account data. In addition, Salesforce has integrated AI tools into other enterprise software offerings over the past three years, targeting industries such as financial services in digital transformation. Einstein AI primarily works via chatbot. Salesforce in 2019 agreed to buy data analytics firm Tableau for $15.7 billion in an all-stock deal. Tableau provides data visualization software. In addition, it enables customers to build databases, graphs and maps using time series analytics, a technique that analyzes a series of data points ordered in time. Also, Salesforce expects synergy between its Einstein artificial intelligence tools and Tableau's business intelligence software. In early October, Salesforce announced that it would rebrand Einstein Analytics as Tableau CRM. CRM stock recent acquisition. In 2018, Salesforce bought MuleSoft for $6.5 billion in cash and stock. MuleSoft's software automates the integration of new tools with legacy enterprise platforms and speeds application development. Meanwhile, Salesforce spent $4.6 billion on acquisitions in 2016. They included e-commerce, platform demandware. E-commerce has boomed amid the coronavirus pandemic. The shift to online shopping has provided a lift to Salesforce's commerce cloud, which has its roots in the demandware purchase. Furthermore, Salesforce's $2.5 billion purchase of Exact Target in 2013 jumpstarted its move into marketing software. Bullish analysts say Salesforce AI's tools, plus Tableau, plus MuleSoft will make a powerful combination for digital transformation projects. Further, 
Salesforce aims to partner with IT services firms such as Accenture to add customers. Despite US-China trade tensions, Salesforce in July added Alibaba Group as a sales channel partner in China. Is Salesforce stock a buy? In cloud computing, Salesforce has partnered with Google for data analytics. In addition, Salesforce has expanded its venture capital investing. According to IBD Stock Checkup, CRM stock currently has a relative strength rating of 31 out of a best possible 99. The best stocks tend to have ratings of 80 and above. CRM stock holds an IBD composite rating of 50 out of a best possible 99. IBD's composite rating combines five separate proprietary ratings into one easy-to-use rating. The best growth stocks have a composite rating of 90 or better. In addition, CRM stock has an accumulation slash distribution rating of D-. The rating analyzes price and volume changes in a stock over the past 13 weeks of trading. The rating, on an A plus to E scale, measures institutional buying and selling in a stock. A plus signifies heavy institutional buying, E means heavy selling. Think of the C grade as neutral. CRM stock fell below its 50-day moving average after the third quarter earnings report, a bearish signal. Software growth stocks remain under pressure with Adobe's outlook missing expectations. Salesforce stock dropped below its 200-day moving average in early January. As of January 10, CRM stock trades well below a cup and handle entry point of 284.60, according to IBD MarketSmith analysis. It likely needs to form a new base to be actionable. Follow Reinhard Krauss on Twitter at reinhardt_tech for updates on artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and 5G wireless.